Welcome back to Ken Place. So we're at the tail end of this mission. I'm going to... Oh yeah, so I need to... St I'm all messed up now with my story modes because I had to restart. So we did Buried in Sight. Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Well, let's get out of this instance. Because we're done. We did Buried in Sight. Now we're on to the next one. And then there's one more, and that's it. No, I mean, I don't mean like there's one more and then the last one. Like, there's one more after this, and that's, that is the last one. Ah, made that way more confusing than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, now it's working. Wait. But. Uh, okay, good. Okay, so sign cutting, all sign cutting is, is it's this really kind of dumb, annoying mission. You wander through the map in the open world, and um, you track down Ram and Rock's fucking, like, stone things. It's actually kind of a bummer that I lost the footage of that, because I got really, really angry while I was doing it, because it's, it's just... Ooh, baby, is it one of the most irritating missions in this entire expansion pack? Because it's so trivial and pointless. Like, they won't even let you replay it, it's so trivial. Look at this. There's no point. Like, there's just... It's weirding me out, actually. You'd think you would be able to. Seeing as it's a whole chapter. Yeah, I see. Okay, I had to I had to catch up with the others who spent who went after Georgia, Logan, and Traheron and let them know what we discovered in Radanovis. Thankfully, Rox left the trail I requested, which allowed me to locate them. You found your team. So you find them yeah, Rox left a bunch of like pointy arrow trails. And here's the thing with this quest. So if you're listening, devs, or anyone's listening that can report this shit or has had a problem with this too, just you know, let me know in the comments how much this makes you happy. Um, the freaking rocks on the ground, you can be standing on top of them sometimes, and it'll take like three to four seconds for you to finally be like, oh, you found it. So I was getting attacked by enemies, getting really anxious, losing my shit, just being like, come the fuck on, and just like, oh god, it was, it was fun. It was super fun. If I can ever recover that footage, and the, or even just put up the audio in some kind of, maybe I'll put it at the end of this episode for a laugh or something. Um, I'll do that because it, it was it was great fun. Anyway, so we're gonna play Bitter Harvest. That's the next main story mission, and I'll be right back. Just gonna pause the episode. I need to get my timer. Okay, I am back. I have start the timer. We have 15 T minus 15 minutes to get some progress done on this mission. Hopefully, I can beat it in that time period, and then we're on to the finale. The way it was gonna be was there's gonna be like a false finale because. I got so freaking close to actually finishing this. And then, uh, yeah, I was gonna do the finale right now. I'm just doing, oh god, oh my god, why, why machine guns, why machine guns, why machine guns. Oh, uh, okay, we're gonna find a waypoint. We're just gonna, just gonna hope we can find a nice little waypoint somewhere. Okay. I've already, yeah, okay, so that's how you get off the map, obviously. I guess we could try, yeah, let's risk it. Let's try to go down Ogre Lane and see if we can actually get off the map the way you're supposed to, and not just warp around. Aside from this warping. Okay, so we want to go east. Oh, I don't know about this, guys. Okay, okay, no, 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 let's, let's make it a challenge. Should probably be on the Raptor, because it's way quicker. Fact. Let's hope I don't get hit. There we go. That was pretty clutch. That was fairly clutch right there. Okay, now we're off. We're off to the races. Just, yeah, 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 Rap, you need the Raptor. He's the way to be. You can get past, like, freaking everything with him. Just wish... I think you can upgrade his endurance eventually, which you really, for, like, these harder maps with the Raptor, would just make it boss. I could be wrong about that, though, because you only get... Like, you can do, like, a super jump like that, and it uses up a whole bar, or you can just do like little little bursts and stuff. It's uh, the the racing with the Raptors is actually really nice. Thank God, a big group of people. We're safe, everyone. Hey, everybody, welcome to my show. How's it going? How y'all doing? Okay, well I'm going this way because I'm the one person not participating in the map event. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Oh, I love this game. Normally, um, oh. Sick, we got an achievement for that too, whatever I whatever I like was part of back there. That was awesome. <laughs> well, I should have clicked that and checked it out. <laughs> whatever. 
Okay. Okay, we're getting this waypoint up here. I'm sick of just running through these maps. I was, I was rushing last night. I was tired, you know. Just wanted to get shit done. We made progress. I'm a, I'm a rage because I can't. What is this? <sighs> okay, well. Looks like some kind of event breaks that open, so we're just gonna. Just gonna pop on down here. And we made it, though. I mean, that, that was the way to get into the map. I think there's an airship you take, actually, at the end of one of the missions. Something like that that brings you down here. Because I don't... I don't remember... Sorry, I was freaking text messages. I don't remember... Uh, coming down here. Like I, met, I, I It was all kind of a blur last night at this point. Because it was really quick. And I, remember I ran through this mission, and then... Did it so quickly, I think we started to do the last mission right away, but we're not going to do that this time. Because now we know what the finale is. Might run past... Well, this is already a long episode, so okay, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, everyone. We'll get it done. It's chill time with Ken, right? That's, that's what I said, like, an hour in, before I got into it last night. I wonder if Zoja or Logan knows anything about the dragon's weakness. They've been with the Mordrum this long. I have to say, I'm still a little surprised you consider that, instead of just trying to bash it with your wings. Okay, they're just being snarky to each other. Let's get moving here. Can I fight this thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. There they are. Nice. Beauty. Let's take these fools downtown. Come here. Ass hats. Yeah, so we're trying to rescue Traherne. Zoe, obviously, um, we're looking for our captured friends, but it's Traherne, Zoja, and Logan. The, the human, the one, the rat person from Destiny's Edge, and um, my screaming computer in the closet. <laughs> Traherne's like the, he's like the commander of everything. Logan, he's another guy from Destiny's Edge. So I guess the whole point of this campaign is kind of like, it's it's more than just the passing of the torch, like there's no excuse anymore. They're, half of Destiny's Edge is freaking dead by the end of this, no matter what you do. Like I said, it's, it's a bit of a bummer, bummer episode, bummer um, expansion pack overall, like plot-wise. It's not... It's not a happy time, that's for sure. But it's not supposed to be, right? Like, it's not, it's not like this is supposed to be like, wow, this game's really fucked up. Like, it, you know, it just betrays the, the branding of Guild Wars. No, it's actually more on brand to the original game than the, uh, the first, the content of the main game is, I would say. The original game was pretty dark. Like, it's not, it's not, I don't know, it's, it's just like a video game, right? Like, inspired kind of like, by Diablo and stuff like that, so it's everyone's like a necromancer and no one really cares about like raising the dead and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like gods destroying the world and everyone's just like, yeah, we'll probably all die. Our entire kingdom was destroyed within like the tutorial stage of the game. <laughs> the uh, if you like older games, like you don't mind going back to you know kind of crappy graphics nowadays. Although they're not terrible, the original Guild Wars. Uh, but yeah, it's still there's still a fair amount of people that played it last time I was on it. So if you've ever wanted to check it out, it's it's okay. Just if you don't have a group of people that are willing to go in with you, or you're not willing to like hunt down like the one or two people you might find in the area and you're trying to do a mission, because there's still people playing, but everyone's kind of like an in-game content, right? Um, so yeah, if you can't really find someone to play with, it's it's almost impossible to beat the game at some points because there's like parts of it where you actually need someone to like operate a mechanism or something for you, unlike this game where you can actually solo through the whole thing. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a weird game, Guild Wars, the original one. It's not, I wouldn't even necessarily call it an MMO, to be quite honest. It never had a subscription, um, and although it's a, it's a massively multiplayer game, 
like, I so yeah, it's an MMO, but I don't know if I'd call it, like, you know, branded in the same kind of category as something like WoW or EverQuest, where they're more traditional, kind of, by-the-numbers MMOs, whereas Guild Wars is just, it's very unique, it does everything, it seems like, its own kind of way. And I think that is the reason why it never got as big as WoW, was people would get into it, and it was very unfamiliar and felt alien, and so was, you didn't, you couldn't use your familiar MMO conventions and translate them into that. You know, you've been using since Ultima and stuff. Whereas something like WoW, it's I think it's a lot easier for people to come from an older game like Ultima and get it immediately and know what they're kind of doing. And Guild Wars has always been geared towards the PvP. Heavily geared towards PvP. I know there's PvP. I'm not an idiot. I know. I know WoW's got competitive PvP brackets and stuff, or at least it used to have. If it's not like that anymore, when I was in high school, it was it was a big deal for a lot of my friends. Um, their teams and stuff in WoW, and they they treated it as seriously as people took Counter Strike and stuff, right? So I, obviously it was a competitive game and well made and balanced um, for what it was. I personally don't really like the uh, the mechanics of that game. I never could really get too into it. I like, like I, I said, I think before, Guild Wars, I like it when, you, you know, the original one, an enemy standing in front of you, you swing your sword and you hit them. If they're standing a couple feet back, you don't hit them. You know, figure it out. Like, wow, it's just kind of like, you, you click on someone and it's it's more like a use your imagination kind of game. Um, I'm getting, I, by that point in my life, that wow and Guild Wars had come out. Uh, yeah, let's do Logan. Um, you for Zosia, I, I was kind of sick of using my imagination with video games, and I was really leaning towards newer games that were pushing the envelope of like, guess what, now we actually have a visual representation of this in the game. You don't have to use your imagination anymore. It's a part of the digital world. You know, you can, your escapism and stuff will be a lot easier, blah, blah, blah. So I was getting to the point there where it's just like, I don't, I'm not going to compromise for games. I, I wanted better graphics because I was just simply bored of the concept of a, a video game from an arcade point of view. And it's weird now because as I've grown up, I've definitely come around 360, I think, on that idea in general. But there's there's still an aspect that I, I like a certain amount of immersive detail in a video game, regardless of what genre or category it is, or how tough guys mounted on lizards are. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Look at him. He's whipping his fire spear. At least they're taking out that guy. Some tough cookies here. Let's uh, switch to the water weapon here. Just don't seem to be. See, yeah, it's moments like this where you just don't really. I guess it's kind of my fault. Should be using my abilities better and such. Stunning him and keeping him from attacking me. Uh, it's a little. I've always thought the, the mages like switching like that's a little clunky, but once you get going with it, it's kind of cool. I was about to say, like, really, guys, you're just gonna stand around while I'm dying. <laughs> this is not the kind of mission for that shit. More veterans. Yeah, you know you're on the second last mission to win. Oof, that was dumb. That was really dumb. So a good strategy, um, you do fire and then you switch to your electric, and it gives you fury, and when you switch to electricity, it ups your god damn fuck that shit does so much damage. It switch ups your attack speed. And so your fury and your attack speed goes crazy, and so you can just do heinous amounts of damage really quickly. It's obviously, you know, it's a super technical thing to do, but um, if you can get in the habit of doing that, you can go really far with this build of this mage. Or any, I, any mage, I guess, that has the attunement and stuff like that. Obviously. If you, yeah, and if, you know, just the people who know how to play the mage, it's obviously you know what you're doing, but... That's for the people that don't quite, maybe, get it. Ugh, these guys are just... You're a low HP character. This is a brutal part of the mission, too. 
it's not even hard. It's one of those kind of like piss off moments. Cause like, look at this, right? They just, they're like, um, uh, the fucking Dark Knights from Ocarina of Time. It's just a patience thing, and eventually they'll kneel and you can damage them. <sighs> Whatever. Just, just to damage some of my equipment. And then, yeah, this is where I ended the episode last time. Now, now I'm remembering this, and I'm, I've got two minutes left on this, so I think I'm actually going to end here. We're going to end here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, I'm going to back up so that thing doesn't fucking come kill me. And uh, see you next time, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about what's going on with the, everything in your... Um, uh, what, the food you've been eating. What, what kind of food do you like eating? And I don't know. Whatever. Okay, bye. Have a good one.